Hello Gaudi and welcome to your science lesson. You've got two science lessons this week and this is your first one. In this lesson we're going to check and explore my heart rate. Humans, animals and plants, what do they all have in common? Turn to your teddy and pause the video. Right, I'm going to give you a little clue. Now oh, we've got a little baby on the left, got a little plant with a shoot, a little puppy, I think it looks a bit like Bruce. And then you've got a young child, a little plant, and a medium sized dog. And what happens? They all grow. So the baby will grow into an adult. You've got the shoot, which will grow into a small plant, and then hopefully a tree or whatever that plant is. And you have the puppy that's grown into a fully grown dog. As we grow, our bodies grow. As our body, as our bodies grow, so do the body parts inside. For example, all our organs, like our heart and our lungs and our liver and kidneys, and the muscles, as well as our bones. What is the organ that keeps going? No, I was just going to read that question again. What is the organ that keeps blood going around our body? Turn to your teddy. It's the heart. Can you spot what the difference is? Turn to your teddy. That's right. One is real and one is not. Can you guess which one? I'm sure you can. Did you know? Do you know what other body part is the same size as your heart? It's your fist. So if you get your hand and you turn it into a fist, that's how big your heart is. So my heart is the same size as my fist. If you get your hand and scrunch up into a fist, that's how big your heart is. The heart plays an important part in our body. It pumps blood around our body, giving our muscles oxygen and air that they need. If your muscles had no oxygen, they wouldn't be able to work. When you don't need lots of ex oh, it. when you don't need lots of oxygen to your muscles, your heartbeat slows down. However, when you need lots of air in your muscles, your heart beats very fast to get the blood there as quick as possible. You usually need air in your muscles when you are trying to do exercise, for example, like lifting heavy things. Now, we want you to check your resting heart rate. You can do this by sitting down and putting your fingers on the side of your neck and counting how many pulses you feel in 60 seconds, which is one minute. What you need to do, you need to get your two fingers and you can pop them just below your earlobe on the neck here, very gently, and you can feel a little pulse, a little beat. And you don't put, if you press really hard, you won't be able to feel it. So just press it really gently in your neck. You can also find it on the inside of your wrist, but the one on your neck is more accurate. You may need an adult to help you. Now what we'd like you to do, here's your stem sentence. My resting heart rate was how many beats per minute? So you need to set yourself a timer and then count the beats per minute of, the, of your pulse in your neck or on your wrist. When you've done that, you're going to do some exercise. Now, do you remember when you uploaded all your videos of your astronaut exercise plan, they were brilliant. Now, we would like you to do five minutes of exercise. Okay, but no cheating, five minutes of exercise. You'll need to get, you will need to get yourself feeling energized and maybe a little tired and sweaty, then you know you worked really hard. Take your pulse again, which means set another timer for 60 seconds and count how many beats your heart is beating. Use looking for the pulse. What did you notice? We'd like you to put a video up on Tapestry and tell us what you noticed about your heart rate before the exercise and after the exercise. And here's a STEM sentence for you to fill in. I'm just going to move it up slightly. 
there we go. We'd like you to either, you could say this then sentence actually. I had a heart rate of, what was your resting pulse rate? And what was it after? And you need to tell us, my heart rate increased or decreased? Did it go higher or did it go lower? Okay, so you need to measure your heart rate before the exercise, do five minutes of exercise, and then measure your heart rate afterwards for one minute. And then you can tell us, did your heart rate go higher or lower? Right, we look forward to hearing about all your findings and your exercise. See you tomorrow, Gaudi.